Hello everyone, welcome back to the gaming flow and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix. Last train home is having issue with crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, stuck on loading screen, even black screen, low FPS drop, even many issues and also some users end up in having an issue such as low fatal error, unreal engine 4 crash error and even unreal process crash which is happening for many of the users. So we're going to talk about some of the possible workarounds can be done in order to fix this. So let's try it one by one. The first one is all about we have to start with a restart. So just go over here in the start. We have to go to the particular icon. Go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. So this is the first step we have to try when you're having the issue. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have to try with verify integrity of game file because you know the verify integrity of game file is actually a very important step. It fixes the issue because if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just go over here in the game, right click and we have to go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular one. So we have to wait for this one to reach 100% and once it's reached 100% I'll be showing you the next step. So once as you can see it's successfully done just close this and try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved because this will be working in most cases and if you're still having the issue we need to move to the third step that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam we have to launch the game from installation folder so just right click over here and go to the properties go for install it file and just click on the browse that will take you to this so if you go back over here you can see this is the installation folder and if you check at the top that is this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam amps common last train home so we just need to launch the game from here so for many users when they launch the game from the installation folder it worked for them so you can try this out as well if that is still it's not working we can try two more steps and one among them is we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so go over here and right click and we have to go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties. Now go for compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. If that is not working we have to try this in compatibility mode. So just go over here in the properties, go to the compatibility and we have to uh, click on run this program in the compatibility mode. You can try with windows 7 and you can go for apply if windows 7 is not working try with windows 8 and we can go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game so that would be working fine as well so if that is still if you're having the issue you can try with the next one that is all about we have to make sure that the date time and region is correct for this we just need to go over here and we have to navigate to settings now go for time and language go for date and time and make sure the time and time zone everything is turned on which is very important and also you have to parallelly make sure that the language and uh, sorry the region should be correct so if you're from the respective country, select the respective country without issue, you have to select it. And once you're done with this one, go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the issue, you can try launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. So this worked for a few users. So that is why let me not take any chances. So I'm giving you this as a solution as well. You can try launch the game and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and that will be working fine as well. If the issue is still there, you can try with the next one. That is we have to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. We have to go to this PC and navigate to the documents and over here you have to find the folder. So if the folder is not here, just get into the game folder as well and check. You'll be able to find the folder when you started playing the game and saving each levels. 
So just delete the fold, uh, folder of the game that is last train home and keep in mind when you do this you'll be losing all the progressions of the game and you have to start from the scratch. But even this worked for many users so that is why I'm recommending you can try this out. Next one is all about we have to allow the game to window security. So just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to the control panel and go for system and security we have to go for windows defender firewall. Go for allow and import feature through windows defender firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to L because since it is an alphabet we have to scroll down and navigate to L over here. So uh, you know we just need to keep going down a little bit more. So uh, it starts with last train. So uh, it starts with L. So just go over here. Okay. Now from here as you can see the last train home is already added and also make sure both the private and public both has to be marked which is very important. So if it is not added we can add it by default just click on the change setting. Now go for allow another app go for browse. Now from here go to this PC go to local disk C go to program file x86 go for steam and we have to navigate to steam apps go to common. Now from here we have to navigate to the last train home. We have to select this one and go for open and we have to try hard. So once you add it, you have to see it is I'm getting the error because it's already added. So if it's not added, we have to add it and make sure both the private and public both has to be selected. Once afterwards, try launch the game and you have to see if the issue is still there, you can try unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with multiple monitors. We might be connected with multiple controllers. Even that causes the issue up. So just unplug unwanted things and once afterwards, you have to launch the game. Once you launch the game and you're in the game, you can try connect it back and that will be working fine. This even worked for many users and we found it from the Reddit. So that is why I'm recommending you can try this out or let's move to the next step. That is all about we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search. We have to navigate to system configuration, go for services and we have to go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. And as you can see, you can go for restart. So restart in the sense the users who are watching this, we have to go for restart because restart is a mandatory. But I'm going to go for exit without restart. And once you're done with the restart, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. Next one is all about we have to disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, and we have to go to the properties. Make sure this is turned it on. If it is turned it on, we have to turn this off. Try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to go over here in the launch option. This is another step where we have to give the command. We are having two commands, and the one among us DX11. Start with DX11, given the command DX11. If DX11 is not working, try with giving the command DX12, and that will be working fine. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with DX12, and any one other thing will be working fine. Fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to close all the overlay application which is very important. So just go over here and we have to right click over here and we have to go to task manager. Now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are actually one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. So if you find any unwanted things for example Discord, Rebar Tuner, MSC Afterburner all these are overlay and overclocking applications and you have to remove it. Once you remove it we just need to close everything over here and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this we just need to go over here in the search we have to navigate to uh, graphics settings over here and we have to go over here and also make sure we need to add the game. So just click on the browse if the game is not there just go over here and navigate to this PC go to local disk C go to program file x86 go for steam app. Now we have to go to steam apps over here and we have to go to common and now from here we have to go for the last train home just select this one go for this one and we have to add it. So once you add it just click on the option and make sure this is high performance this is very important go for save once you save this just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search and we have to go for view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced and go for settings once again go for advanced and go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local to see. Select the custom size which is initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. So we need a calculator so just go over here and search for the calculator. So let me type for the calculator. Now from here we have to type so the RAM of my computer is 32 GB so that is why I am typing 32 GB and you have to multiply with a constant value 1024 that brings you this one and you have to multiply it with 1.5 that is 49 sorry it is 1.5 it is not 1.3 
32 GB multiplied with 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 so that is 49152 so just copy this value and we have to paste it the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM so first we need to find the total RAM that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once the value is being set and everything is done you have to do a restart and try launching the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory which i already did so once afterwards if you're still having the issue you can try updating the windows so just go over here in the search and we have to navigate to settings now from here go for windows update and just update the windows and make sure when you're updating the windows you have to keep in mind you should not be having any issue and if any pending updates are there just update everything and this should be up to date because when we are running these kind of games the windows has to be on the latest versions or else you'll be having the trouble next one a very important step is all about we have to run the game or dedicate a graphics card so uh, i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd the uh, nvidia users has to go over here and select everything like your product type product series product operating system everything should be selected and if you go for start search we'll be getting these updated graphics cards we have to download the versions 546.17 which is released on 14th november 2023 download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go to this link and select every details over here if you're on windows 11 download this one and if you're on windows 10 try downloading this one we can also try installing the microsoft visual c plus plus over here and also you can download this if the system is based on x64 you can also try downloading if the system is based on x86 this is what we have to do and once you run with this one if you're still having the issue and you're not able to fix this up the next one is all about i'm recommending you can try uninstalling the game and reinstalling it back so just go over here in the game go to the manage and uninstall and you can try reinstalling it back but when you do this you have to keep in mind you should not be installing back on the same local disk you have to try a new local disk and that is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye